told on the way over here, it's not a weed patch, it's a weed jungle. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to the jungle master. Alright, thanks Brett. So uh, every year I ask Mike and Abdul if I can have a plot closer to the highway, and they always tell me no. And I can't figure out why they don't want my plots close to the roads. Um, so this is a study where we're looking at weed control in dry beans. Um, as you might be able to tell, we didn't get very good weed control in a lot of these in a lot of these plots. But um, as part of weed research, that's kind of the name of the game. We can't really tell what works and what doesn't unless we start with some really, really weedy fields. And it has been like pulling teeth to try to keep Mike out of here with the herbicide sprayer so we can get some good data to the end of the year. He is just dying watching these, these beans get taken over by sunflower. And I have no idea where the sunflower came from. We had almost no sunflower here last year. But we let everything go to seed, so that might have something to do with it from last year. So the, I guess the background on this study is looking at mechanical herbicide incorporation methods. So one of the issues we have with dry bean production, particularly up in, in this area where we don't have a lot of overhead irrigation, is we have to use mechanical incorporation. We have to actually stir that herbicide into the soil for it to be effective. And so in this study, we've actually applied Eptam Sonolan over the entire study. And then we came in with various different kinds of mechanical um, incorporation equipment. So we had a, a roller harrow, we have a tandem disc, we have a couple of vibra shanks, one with sweeps and one with points. Um, am I missing anything? I think that's, that's it. And we also have one pass of that incorporation equipment versus two passes of that incorporation equipment. Because another thing that we get a questions a lot, is it actually necessary to make that second pass? Because, you know, we usually um, plow or whatever we're doing for the primary field incorporation. We spray and then we make one pass with the, the incorporation equipment. And then we usually might make a second pass at a slight angle to the first one in order to get good mixing of that soil. And, you know, that co extra field operation costs money. So that's one of the things we're trying to answer here as well, is does that second pass, is it actually required in order to get good weed control with the, this particular set of herbicides? Now primarily we're interested in hairy nightshade um, as our key weed species. As I said before, I, we really weren't expecting this many sunflowers, I'm not sure where they came from. But we actually, in addition to letting the weeds get this bad, we also talked Mike into spreading hairy nightshade seed out in this field for us before we planted. So, And so we think maybe the sunflowers came in with that nightshade seed. So good job on the, the weed spreading, Mike. I appreciate it. Um, if I can, I'd like to reserve this field for the next three or four years, if you don't mind. Um, so again, we're the, the results of the first year of, of the study, I believe, are in your, your field days bulletin. So you're welcome to look through that. Although I will give you a little bit of a spoiler. The results that we're seeing from this year are not necessarily... Uh, matching up real well to what we saw last year. So, and that's one of the reasons why we do multi-year research here at, at the, the experiment centers. You know, we may have had just really good conditions for one particular piece of incorporation equipment last year. Um, it was not nearly this weedy. The weed densities were a lot lower and therefore, you know, the data may not have been um, as uh, trustworthy as we would have liked. This year though, I think we've definitely got a weed population that we can trust, we're, so I think we're going to get some really good data off of this this mess this year. We'll also take yield data, so we're going to get some, some weed competition data from all this, this that we're doing as well. So um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. After this year, we'll know a lot more um, as to whether that second pass of the incorporation equipment is required and also if there are any general trends that we can make as far as recommendations for which type of mechanical incorporation equipment to use for weed control. So if you have any questions, be happy to, to answer them. Otherwise, I guess we can move along. Um, the question here was how deep. And generally, we were trying to shoot for about four inches um, with all of the incorporation equipment. So we tried to keep that as much as possible. Um, I think we got them all set fairly well last year and, and, and this year. So, but yeah, shooting for about four inches. How much do you contribute to difference in weed control from a year ago being a wet spring to being a dry spring this year? So how much of the differences in weed control would we attribute to 
a wet spring last year versus a dry spring this year. I think that is a, a major difference um, because we do tend to see a lot better control where we've got a little bit of overhead incorporation in addition to the mechanical incorporation. Um, so the dry spring, I think, contributed to that. But I also think just the fact that we let some of the weeds go last year and then this seed bank that we had this year was a little bit more. So I think it's probably a combination of those two things. But the dry spring, I'm sure, contributed as well. Have you done any other, um, other than the initial incorporation, did you do any other chemical or tillage to the weeds? So after the, the incorporation treatments went out, did we do anything else for weed control? Uh, we ditched, so we may have had a little bit of incidental um, or, uh, weed control there, but we did, have not sprayed this with anything else afterwards. Um, we may try and hit it with a hefty dose of Raptor Bassagran to get some of these weeds put down, but uh, I'm guessing you might agree that we're not going to get real good control with that treatment at this point. So, But we may try and burn that back just a little bit, but at this point, um, what you see is about what you're going to get.